Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We got three big stories for you today. Really excited about them, dealing with obviously some Pokemon Legends Arceus, because my lord, the reviews have dropped and we got the breath of the wild of the Pokemon franchise. Or do we? Maybe the reviews sucked ass. Maybe this game is a piece of crap and nobody should play it. I guess we'll talk about that. Also, we got some updated sales figures on the lifetime sales of Nintendo Switch and also some sales data on another game that came to Switch last year during the summer that we haven't really heard much about, but it actually feels like a pretty good number. So I'm really excited about these stories. I gotta remind you, we do have a giveaway already started for the month of February. We're giving away a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Switch OLED. That's that's right, it is a console of choice. Just hit up that Gleam.io link down in the pinned comment or the description. And because our January giveaways wrap up this week, I want to remind you that yes, new subscribers get a shot at $100 cash this month. Also, we have three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus being given away. If you wonder when the winners for Legends Arceus in particular are going to be announced, it'll be announced during our Friday stream. You don't actually have to be at that stream to win, uh, but we will announce the winners during that stream and we'll pre obviously privately emailing them. All right, that being said, Said, let's get right into today's news. The first story is about the Nintendo Switch and its sales data. So these are estimations that come from VG charts, but they have recently updated their overall sales for Nintendo Switch and it has sold 103 million units. So we already told you a couple weeks ago that it already sold 100 million. So yeah, 103 million is apparently where they have it pegged at and they do update their figures. VG charts, by the way, is not 100% accurate, but they do a fairly good job with their estimations. Now they posted an article before it even hit 103 million saying that it outsold the PlayStation 1, which originally sold 100 102.5 million. Now it already outsold the Wii. Now it's outsold that. I think next up is PlayStation 4 and then Game Boy. And you know, we'll see where it goes from there. It really feels like the sky's the limit so long as big banger games keep coming out. Uh, so yeah, Nintendo Switch hitting that kind of milestone is very, very impressive. And I am totally, totally stoked about that. Now, next up we have an update on some sales data again for a game that came out last year, Monster Hunter Stories 2. Now we already know Monster Hunter Rise sold 8 million, most of that on Switch, but uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2 released simultaneously on Switch and PC, and it has now sold 1.4 million according to Capcom's latest financial data. A majority of those sales, about 1 million, took place on Nintendo Switch, so that's actually really, really good news for Monster Hunter Stories where, you know what, that, that original game didn't necessarily sell all that well. Stories 2, to me, is arguably better than Monster Hunter Rise in some ways. I wish it got the same recognition, but yeah, Monster Hunter Stories 2 uh, did very, very well, and who knows? Will it hit 2 million one day? I don't know. I think 2.5 or 1.5, I should say, is definitely on the table. Uh, but that's really good news for that game. Uh, speaking of games, I don't know. We have a big release this week, this week on Switch, an exclusive game for Switch, never going to be seen on any other platform besides potential future Nintendo platforms in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And the review embargo is lifted early this morning. And, well, I think it's the fourth highest rated game in Pokemon history. Uh, yeah, it trails, uh, for mainline games anyways, it trails behind Pokemon X and Y, which had an 88 on Metacritic, and then Pokemon Sun and Moon and Black and White and Heart Gold Soul Silver all had 87s. At the time of recording, it has an 86 on Metacritic, I think an 85 on Open Critic, and this is actually one of the highest rated Pokemon games in a decade. That is very, very impressive. Now, obviously, the overall ratings I don't think matter as much because, yes, you want to see a game that you're excited for do well because it means that it's probably a solid experience, but it matters what is being said about these games because time periods need to be taken in. Like Ocarina of Time, if it was a brand new game released today, would likely not be the highest rated game of all time, right? There are a lot of context matters for timing of release. So even though this might be rated less than other Pokemon games, does it actually mean it's worse? Well, not only is it getting a bunch of 9 out of 10s and 10 out of 10s out there, it's really a handful of lower scores that are holding it back, it really looks like most people who are playing this game and reviewed it are extremely impressed, saying this is a refreshing, 
the best Pokemon game in a decade, if not 20 years. Uh, the, definitely the most ambitious Pokemon game since the very first generation. And a lot of people are literally calling it the Breath of the Wild of the Pokemon franchise. Not just literally because there's a significantly more open world, but just in terms of the mechanical changes and, and updating an old, long-standing IP to more modern standards. Uh, and they seem to have done a really fantastic job with it. Now, I'm not going to get into too many spoilers or any of that. We're going to be live streaming this game all day Friday. By the way, if you're looking to pick up the game still because, you know, you're not one of those people that don't like to do pre-orders, we actually have an affiliate link down in the description that I would love if you guys would purchase it. It's for Best Buy. If you do, we actually get 22% kicked back to us by Nintendo themselves. So 22% back to the channel. That's a really, really sweet deal for us. So I would love if you use that affiliate link to make that purchase. By the way, when you purchase at Best Buy online, you can have it shipped to you or pick up in store. So that's really exciting there. Uh, thanks so much for that. Uh, I think we might, in a future video, be talking about other games you could pre-order using these affiliate links because Nintendo's got a really sweet partnership with us for the next few months on Nintendo games at Best Buy. All right. So that's really, really cool. Now, what are some of the negative reviews focus on? Well, the negative reviews essentially all say the exact same thing. When I say negative, there are some that are like literally like I think IGN Italy's five out of 10, some that are seven out of 10, but the more negative reviews of the game all essentially say the exact same thing. One, they rag on the visuals. Um, we all know that <laughs> Pokemon Legends Arceus is not a visual treat and even on Switch could look significantly better. We've seen games on Wii U look significantly better. There's no real reason the game, um, the art direction, and, and, and that they, they could have just did better, of course. Um, some rag on some frame rate dips at times that I find kind of interesting. Um, this is a weird game that combines like live action with like turn-based stuff. It's really interesting to see how much the frame rate dips really matter in a game like this, uh, where there's not as precise movements as say like in Breath of the Wild or something like that. But again, that, those are common complaints about this game. And considering the art stuff, it's, it's weird that they couldn't clean that up because a lot of the art stuff is where it's really ugly off in the distance. Um, and they could have cleaned that up and they just didn't. So I, anyways, that's neither here nor there. That's obviously a common complaint. And then a few of those negative reviews also point out that, hey, like this might be like ambitious for a Pokemon game, but it's not ambitious for any other open world action RPG. And to that I say, I think that's being a little bit unfair. Um, now I've seen a lot of the leaked footage, so I know a bunch of stuff that you guys might not. Um, but I would say that that's a little bit unfair because how many open world action RPGs are about catching and documenting animals? Now we could point to things like Shin Megami Tensei Five, which by the way is a visual feast on Switch, and yeah, it has like monsters and, and all that that you catch. But here's the thing: even that's not exactly like Pokemon. Um, people you often call Shin Megami Tensei Pokemon for adults, but it's really an inaccurate statement. And the point of this game is to document Pokemon. You're documenting behaviors. You're documenting catching them. You're documenting everything you can about every Pokemon that's in the game. And that's just not what open world action RPGs are. So when I keep thinking to this game you know, is only impressive for Pokemon, it's not impressive for the genre, it's not really in that genre. Pokemon is still very much sort of its own thing. It's a it's a pocket monster collecting and documenting game. And the games that should be compared to shouldn't be things like Breath of the Wild, shouldn't be things like The Witcher 3, because it's not that kind of game. So I think some of the reviews, at least that light, we, we can be as negative about the visuals and stuff as you want, I think are just not considering what Pokemon really is and are more focused on what it should be or what they want it to be with other action adventure open world rpgs which just it's unfair because that's not real. like this isn't about the combat this isn't about that i, I don't know I, I think it's just an unfair way to judge the game but again i am literally a nintendo youtube channel so are we supposed to sit here and pretend i don't have bias it's weird though because i don't really like pokemon i just got done trashing brilliant diamond i i don't know 
I'm excited for the game. That's all I can really tell you guys is I'm pretty excited for the game. Let me know if you're excited for the game. Well, have these reviews increased your hype, lowered your hype? Have you just bothered to not give a crap about the reviews? You already know if you're buying or not the game. Um, let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to tune into our podcast tonight. We have a special guest coming on to talk about these reviews and more with Pokemon Legends Arceus. One of the largest Pokemon YouTubers in the Pokemon YouTube community is joining us. Not going to tell you who it is. You're just going to have to tune in to find out. You guys are awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video.